Is your Ultimate Game Boy 2023 not so ultimate anymore? Well, it sounds like you need the DC Pixel. It's a programmable 8x8 pixel matrix with a regulator on board and also on board microcontroller. Thank you to PCBWay for putting these together for me because soldering 64 1x1mm LEDs isn't fun. The DC Pixel is actually two stacked two layer boards and they sit on top of each other and solder to each other. The reason why it's two boards instead of one four layer board is because buried vias are very expensive. It has a powerful onboard DC converter by Texas Instruments, but there's 64 LEDs, so of course it will drain your battery a little bit quicker. The board has pinouts to a USB and also a button to set programming mode. I designed this STL just to diffuse the LEDs a bit, but you can diffuse it with a lot of different things. Like I've also tried just a bit of paper. There's a startup animation, which you just saw, which you can also disable. But I have a pink Game Boy Color, so let's put a Kirby on there instead of this Pokeball. In the description, I will put a link to the project on GitHub. The GitHub has links to everything. It has a link on how to set up the Arduino IDE, also the code. You can change it as much as you want. I'm not the best programmer in the world, so I'm sure you could think of something better. And also a link to the PCBWay project. You can order just the PCBs on there since I have the build of materials or you can also get it assembled. PCBWay assembly is really good. I actually had some nightmare issues with other PCB assemble services. Download the code and also download the Arduino IDE if you don't have it already. Go back to my GitHub link and in the GitHub you will see setting up Arduino IDE. Click the link in there and follow the instructions. If you're using my code, all you really need to change is this here. It has the data for the matrix and what LED needs to light up where to make the picture. You can also turn off the fill rainbow animation and also change the brightness. Higher brightness will take up more battery. I've written a script in Python that takes an image that's 8x8 pixels and outputs the matrix data. To use this script, you need Python installed and also PIL. Make sure you change the location of the picture file in the script. I use a sprite, but you can use any picture manipulation program to make the 8x8 PNG that you want to display on the matrix. Then all you need to do is open the command prompt from this location and then run the matrix. It will output a file called output code and then all you need to do is copy and paste that into the program. In the Arduino IDE, make sure you have everything set up for the CH552 board. Make sure all the settings are the same as I have here with the bootloader pin and also the internal clock source is the same as everything you can see here. To program the board, it's a little bit different than normal Arduino boards. First, you're just going to verify the code to make sure everything's okay. Then when you click upload, press the button on the board and plug it in. Then it should show this graphic and everything's uploaded. And here we have our little Kirby. So I can put that in my Game Boy now by removing the original regulator first. Now this wouldn't be a Natalie the Nerve video without a little bit of solder tips. So my tip here is using low melt solder. Low melt solder has a lower melting point than regular solder. Regular solder melts at around 220 to 300 degrees where low melt melts at around 120 degrees. Now this is for desoldering only, never use it for actual soldering. Low melt always has bismuth in it, so just make sure the solder has bismuth. And I like to use it on through hole components because through hole components suck a lot of heat. So using low melt solder lets it stay liquid for longer and it's also a lot easier to desolder things on a ground plane. So you can see with the regulator here, I just add some low melt solder and some flux and then just pull the board from the other side and it comes off. Now we have to clean up all that low melt solder since it's not good for actual soldering. So I'm just going to use some of my goot wick to suck it all up. Goot wick is my favorite to solder wick since it has flux in it and it just sucks up all the solder really easily. You can see here I'm just dabbing it and not dragging the wick around which is a bad idea. Now there's a lot of flux residue on the board 
And another little tip I have is to use kitchen paper towel, an anti-static brush and some isopropyl alcohol. The reason I do this is so the paper towel actually absorbs the flux. Otherwise, all you're doing is spreading the flux thin and spreading it all over your board. And that's how your board gets all sticky and grimy. And we're done. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you have a nice day wherever you are in the world.